Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your Power Message for Thursday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three decks of cards today. We're going to bring in the Dragon Oracle to begin with. I really feel the dragons are around helping today. They help on the other realms. They help in the 2D and the 4D to remove obstacles and create the way. They work very closely with Archangel Nathaniel and Lord Ganesh to create the way to burn up any old energies, to help you to navigate around any obstacles and also to see things in a higher way. So we're going to bring in the dragon cards. I'm also going to bring in the magic of crystals oracle deck today as well. And I'm going to bring in the animal totems deck because I want to see which animal guides are around you and why. So I really do feel that the nature kingdom and the elementals and you're being helped from above today. You've been helped in many, many ways. And if you've been having eye issues, if you're having eye issues over the weekend or yesterday, you may feel that's easing off a little bit today. You may feel a little bit blurry still or maybe even a little bit tired, but I feel that vision-wise, it feels much better and that's a great sign of things to come. So thank you, angels. Who's around the feminines today? Jumping straight out. So I've got three cards coming out today, three dragons that want to help and assist us and which crystals can help the feminine today, please, angels? Absolutely jumping all over the place. Amazing. So I'm picking these up as well. Here we go. And wow, look at that. I've got rose quartz. Amazing. Amazing. And which animal? Straight out again on the camera. Wow. So let's start then with the dragons today. So the message coming through is you've got an earth and air dragon with you today to bring balance in. And this is also to balance your feminine and masculine side, to connect yourself with your true self and the energy of power. So the earth and the air dragon is helping to keep you grounded in the physical world, but also helping you to understand that you have support, help and assistance from above. As above, so below. So as we walk on the earth, we can call on heaven to assist us and help us down here on earth. We're not alone. And you're remembering that more and more every day as you're learning to pray, learning to ask for assistance, learning to trust in divine timing. And give any worries, concerns or fears over to heaven. And also being aware of all the blessings and all the magic and all the wonder and love that's surrounding you now. That's what I'm feeling with these yellow beautiful orbs here. Seeing the good in things, the light, the love, the sunshine. Even on a cloudy day, the sun is breaking through for you as you see things in a higher way. And this is how you balance your energy, how you feel at ease with where you are spiritually, emotionally and physically. Body, mind, heart and soul all becoming in perfect balance. And the feminine and masculine energy of yourself is moving into perfect balance. This is exactly what happens before union. You'll find before your union, you're experiencing more of your other self. So, for example, you're going to be feeling your twin's energy more. You're going to be feeling their emotions more. You could be getting more hurt more because you're feeling everything very powerfully as a sensitive, as an empath and as a leader of light. But also as you experience your other self. So if you predominantly operate in the feminine energy, then you're going to be feeling that masculine part of you within to crying for help, wanting answers trying to understand. So you may find you need your own time away in isolation, or you may find that you are gathering more knowledge about things, or even in the energy where you're thinking, I just can't be bothered anymore. I'm just doing me. And that's because you're also surrendering the journey. So the earth and air dragon are really representing the perfect balance of heaven and earth, and also allowing you to bring heaven onto your earth or into your earth or your world, which means you're waking up grateful every day. You're starting to choose positivity every single day, to be optimistic, to look for the good. And when you do that, great things come in and you start to see things in a much higher way and you stop taking things personally. And I just want to read a testimony from one of our soul sisters because I wanted to read this the other day and then it went out of my mind and obviously it's coming through today for a reason. So our soul sister Elizabeth says, and this was on one of my posts, one of the, the comments on a video perhaps last week, it was a while ago now, about a week ago I'd say, 
But she says, this was one of the biggest lessons I had to learn to not take it personally. I see now that space is needed and it's not a bad thing. I also had to be comfortable with being in my own energy and being okay with that. This journey is so beautiful and your series Separation Heals really helped that. I would absolutely recommend it for anyone struggling with separation or stillness. I don't struggle with these things anymore because I have trust and faith in my masculine, but also the universe to bring us back together. Isn't that powerful? And obviously I'm sharing it today at the exact right time that you need to hear that because some of you may be thinking, well, my life is hell right now. It's not heaven on earth. I'm in separation. Things don't seem to be going right. I'm tired and drained on this journey and I don't know what to do. And that's always the opportunity to go within. Whenever we feel any of those things, it's always a sign to give back to ourselves. It means we may be over giving to our twin or we're more focused on them than ourselves and we need to pull it back in. And when we do that, we're able to observe, to address things in our own life and in our own mind and in our own emotions and say, okay, why is this affecting me this way? Why is this making me feel this way? Feeling like it's hell and not heaven. And then we have a choice. Every day we have a choice. You know, every day we can choose peace. We can choose to be at ease with where we are, regardless of the outside circumstances, because God is your source as above, so below. So when you fully believe in our faith in heaven and you know that you are surrounded by heavenly help, dragons, unicorns, whomever you connect with in heaven, your loved ones, angels, guides, you know who you connect with and you know why. And when you trust in that help and that support and that assistance, you know that everywhere that you go. So this is reminding you, you can have heaven on earth today if you choose so. And the first step is to stay balanced, to ground yourself and also to ground your visions, which means working with your vision in the here and now, being grateful for what you want as if it's already here now. And then you manifest and create your hopes and dreams. So this is also reminding you that you are a creator. So if I had to compare this card to a card in the tarot, for example, it would be the fool. Because the fool is ready to take a leap of faith. The fool knows it's risky, but is ready for it. And you're ready for the next step of your journey. This dragon may fall. He may fly. But he's also surrounded by love and whatever happens, he can get through it. So we all go through valleys in our life to get to the high mountain top, to get that amazing view at the top, where you can say, wow, look how far I've come. I've been in the depths of despair. I've walked through the valley of the shadow of death because that's how it feels sometimes. And I've got through it and come out the other side. So we all go through a transformation. We become a greater version of ourself. We are not the person we were. And we're no longer the person that we used to be. And we have to grieve that sometimes and let that person go. Because that person may be carefree or be trapped in the matrix. Oblivious to this particular part of your journey. And you might think it was easier then. But was it really? It's easier now because you are a creator and you're aware of that and realizing your power. So a crystal that can help you today is sapphire. To know that you have the power and the strength within you to judge wisely. It gives me fear. It's a lot of fear being released here because you're realizing your power. When the solar plexus wants to release fear very quickly, it comes up as a burp. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just shows that your body is releasing what needs to go. And look at this, we've got Sapphire and we've got the Silver Dragon. So the Silver Dragon is illuminating your potential with higher light. The potential of your journey, your mission, but also your growth and your soul journey to your union. The key to your union, the key to your future. The Silver Dragon is making you aware of this so you can access untapped resources. So you can go within and look into your own soul and see it in a higher way, a higher perspective to see the higher possibilities, 
to view everything in a higher way. And that way you don't take anything personally anymore. And if you do, you observe it and say, it's okay. Why am I being triggered by this? Why is this person affecting me? Why am I allowing them to affect me? I have the power. I have the power. And Archangel Uriel is illuminating you to that power today. Giving you that beautiful golden key saying, the opportunity is here and now. It doesn't live in the past that you've had or the future that awaits you. It starts now. When you open the door now and you start seeing things in a higher way, viewing things with higher possibilities and observing everything, you're able to be at peace and you're able to balance yourself in times of insecurity to be stabilized. Look at this. We've got this gorgeous crystal here. This is andalusite. And I feel this is also what the earth and air dragon is doing, helping you to balance yourself in times of insecurity. When you may not know what's next, or maybe you're going through something financially, or something's going on in your body, or something's happening with your kids, or something's going on with your twin, and you're thinking, I don't know what's next for me. And the angels are saying, it's okay. You'll be okay because you are surrounded by heavenly assistance and light. So I feel you could see orbs today. They could be orbs of yellow. They could be orbs of sapphire. Beautiful orbs that show you you are supported. You could see golden keys. The angels are going to show you you are safe. And you've got the royal blue and gold dragon giving you power. And this particular dragon works very closely with Archangel Uriel, the Illuminator, and Archangel Michael, the Thor of Heaven, the strength and power within you to carry on, strengthens you to stand in your power and your wisdom, so you can awaken to your own inner majesty, remembering who you are, and wearing your cloak of power with pride. So if you're worried today about anything, visualize you have a beautiful royal blue and gold cloak, a lot like you know, empresses wear or empress or the magicians of the olden days or even kings and queens. And you're holding, you're being given that cloak from God. The angels are carrying it to you and handing it to you. And you're able to put that cloak on and feel strong. Think about Harry Potter, if any Harry Potter fans out there, when Harry put the cloak of invisibility on, he felt strong because he knew that he could go around and do his stuff without being caught. So it's a bit like that, you know, you put on your strength, you put on your armour, the armour of God, your cloak, and you feel strong. Maybe in your life, you know, you have a certain suit that you wear if you go for a job interview, or a certain pair of shoes you put on if you want to feel confident. Or for me, for example, I have a special wig I put on when I want to feel good. You know, if there's anything that you wear physically that makes you feel good this is like that so maybe today you want to put on something that makes you feel good it could be a bracelet it could be a ring it could be a piece of jewelry something that makes you feel strong and everything is infused with your power everything everything is from your perspective so for example if someone gives you a bracelet and says this bracelet is going to be powerful for you. It's going to strengthen you to stand in your power and wisdom. It's going to give you everything you need. If you believe that and you put that on, wow, you're going to feel amazing wearing this bracelet. You're going to feel it's doing everything for you. But if you pick it up and think, no, it's just worthless, it won't do those things. That's why intention bracelets are only as powerful as you make them, because it's your thoughts that bring in the power. It's just a bracelet. It may be infused with good and good intentions and love, but it really is how you perceive it that makes it what it is. So if you put an item of clothing on, it's just an item of clothing, but it's your view of it. Perhaps it looks good to you, it feels good on you, it makes you feel confident. That's what gives you the power. So today, strengthen yourself by standing in your power with your own wisdom and awakening to your own inner majesty. And taking that beautiful cloak of blue and gold from your angels and wearing it with pride, knowing that you are strong. And that's going to bring in power. And Rose Quartz is a great healer of the heart. 
Rose Quartz is allowing you to carry the unconditional love of your connection with you everywhere you go. So you can be peaceful and feel at peace. And that way you know that you are one with your twin. So if you've had any heart chakra activation taking place, maybe you haven't had eye issues at all, but you've been having palpitations or you've been having a feeling of the heart opening or you've been having pain in the heart. This is because your heart is opening to higher love, to view things in a higher way, to carry that unconditional love with you everywhere you go. That means you're understanding more and more that love is kind, love is patient, love does not demand its own way, love does not hold any records of wrongs, because love is unconditional. It's only when we go into ego and we try and put conditions on it, the problems arise, trying to force or push it or pressure our twin or make things happen before they're ready or putting timelines on things where we say it has to be by then. And when it gets to them, we say it's over and moving on. Well, that's demanding. We can't demand of this love. We have to be in the flow of the love. We have to learn that every day. It's something we learn. Nobody said it would be easy, but it's worth it. If it was easy, you wouldn't have chose to come to earth. You chose to come here into this earthly life and into your earthly body and your earthly experiences to become a warrior that you are, to see things in a higher way, to rise above pain, to carry that unconditional love with you everywhere you go. You came here for that. It's not meant to be easy. Think about sailors. Sailors are on a nice, clear ocean. It's calm and there's no storm or wind. And they're just going along nicely. But it's when the storm hits and the, the sea is raging and the rain is beating down that they learn how to navigate around the ocean and become that skilled sailor. And it's the same with you and me and your twin and everyone else here on earth. We learn and grow through the things we go through. If it was easy, we wouldn't come because we wouldn't grow. So today you have a panther with you, helping you to be bold and strong and supported. The panther is looking at you, saying to you, I am bringing hidden gifts to you. And these hidden gifts are here for you to share with the world. And that includes your beauty, your power, your strength, your grace, your knowledge. You are a channel for speed and agility when it comes to handling certain issues. This panther helps you to understand the chaos and move with courage through the dark times of your life. So this panther today is helping you to be bold and stand strong and remember that everything you go through, you are learning from that experience, gathering knowledge and wisdom and power and strength. So you can share that knowledge, wisdom, power and strength with others. Maybe you're the divine feminine through YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or through a healing website. Maybe you want to do Reiki or crystal healing. Or maybe you are an artist in some way. You're very creative. You may write music or you may sing or you're uplifting vibration in some way. These are all ways you channel your authentic gifts. And the gifts are given to you from God. And when you embrace those gifts, they will bring profit in for you. Which means you'll be interested in taking them further. And bringing them into your day-to-day -day life to get paid for them. And bring them in as a career. Because then you realise, wow, I'm working on service. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And then you feel like you're never working a day in your life because you're loving what you do. And this is where so many of you are right now. To incorporate these gifts into your daily life. To realise that you're not going crazy. You're not weird. You're the sanest you've ever been and you are special and powerful and unique. And that's boldness. That's stepping into your light and your power with boldness, not caring what people think, saying, I know what I want. I know who I am and I'm going to do it my way. And the unicorn is helping you to step into that power with individuality, to stand out from the crowd. It's okay. This is why most of us were seen as a bit weird at school. Maybe we didn't fit in. Or if we did fit in, maybe what got pushed out. Because we are individuals. And we are individuals from the moment we're born. 
That's why we don't fit in at school sometimes or we may wear our hair different or wear different clothes or do different things because we don't want to follow a crowd. We want to break free. And as divine families, we are leaders in that way because the masculines can follow the crowd because they're afraid of being judged. They're afraid of breaking free from society, conditioning of society, programming of society. And they have to learn to break free of that. So families, you are a leader in that way. People in your life will look at you and say, wow, what is it about you? What's this light within you? It's something special. It's something magical. That's why people tell you all the problems, because you have this light in you. The unicorn is filled with vulnerability, but that vulnerability is strength. It's innocent strength. It's power. It's light. So the unicorn is helping you to be you no matter what. Reminding you that you are magical and majestic. Think how beautiful the unicorn is. And think how magical they are and how wonderful they are. That's you. Each unicorn spirit is one of a kind. So you're being reminded, Divine Feminine, that you are one of a kind and your masculine knows it. The unicorn asks you to release comparison and to release jealousy and see the elegant magic of being an individual. Don't be afraid to stand out from the crowd. So remember, on this journey as a divine feminine, we will heal the need for comparison. We will heal jealousy in some way, shape or form. That was a big one for me. When we are jealous, we're not feeling enough or we're not feeling like we have what we want or we're feeling things are lacking. or We feel like we have to compete with other people for what we desire. And it's just not true. That's ego. That's programming and conditioning. In spiritual truth, you are a magical individual. You are majestic and powerful. You are strong. So put on that beautiful cloak today of blue and gold and remember your power and stand out as the individual that you were born to be. And that way you rise like the orca and you know your soul is guiding you and you feel strong. You're not afraid to jump out of the ocean and be you. The orca is asking you to get in touch with your inner self through meditation and soul searching. All the knowledge you require for yourself is within you, within your soul. So you must learn to trust your instincts and your intuition, your instincts, and allow your power to come forth. Going inward is the only way to go forward right now. So remember, if the masculines have gone inward, that's a way forward. It doesn't mean you're taking steps backward. It means you're going towards your true north. So go inward for the answers. If your master needs space, give yourself space too to work on your dreams and goals and go within you and ask yourself, what am I learning in this moment? What am I realizing from my soul? So meditation and self-care are the keys to your union and yourself. And that's where you receive guidance. Look at this. We've got the hawk. You may even see that a bit owl-like because it's about intuition and guidance. Remember, the hawk is different than the eagle. The eagle is a symbol of the masculine coming home. The hawk is really a symbol of feminine power. Seeing a hawk means that you are on the right path in your life. So if you see a hawk or you see 717, great symbol of power. So the angels are saying to you today, divine feminine, you are on the right path in your life. And your spirit animal is there to make sure you keep this path. The hawk will come to you and help you during times where you need laser-like focus and have to take on the role of a leader. It may be a call to see things from a higher perspective and focus on your observation skills. So I feel today you're being given this golden royal blue cloak. A cloak of power to be strong, to get a glimpse of the true essence of freedom in your life with the horse at your side. So you've also got this horse bringing in passion and freedom and strength. You are strong, divine feminine, and you can carry on over the roughest of roads and the toughest of obstacles. You have the drive, the passion and the energy not to give up. So don't give up on what you want. So before I bring the book in, the message of this reading is to say to you, it's all about perspective. It's how you access the inner key within you and find your inner truth. And this beautiful royal blue and gold dragon here is offering you an opportunity to be an individual, to remember who you are. 
So close your eyes today and take from the angels, from Archangel Michael and Archangel Uriel, this beautiful, long, royal blue and gold cloak of power and visualize you are putting it on and it's going to feel good to you. You're going to feel alive and ready for what's next and that's what you need to know. So let's bring in the daily guidance from the angels. Wow, today's message is notice the signs from above. So you can affirm today, I notice signs from my angels. I readily understand what I see, what I hear and what I feel and know in my heart. I trust the signals and feel confident that they are real messages from above. I remember to ask my angels for signs and request their help in interpreting that. So the angels are constantly communicating with you. You usually hear the angels through your gut feelings, your intuition, but they also send you signs to help you understand and trust your messages. You know, the messages you're receiving, the messages that you see in the signposts and numbers and the way you feel. These messages and signs help you to know that what you're experiencing isn't your imagination and it's not a coincidence. So the signs will guide you. So notice the many signs that the angels send you today. Remember, there's no random events. Everything is orchestrated perfectly by God because there is always a plan. And as you become more aware of the signs and the synchronicities, you'll see that they are all around you. Some are physical in your physical world, such as objects that you find or things you see. Others are auditory. They include verbal messages that you receive through other people and music. Notice the running theme within these signs because they spell out complete messages and stories. Please ask the angels if you need help interpreting that. And I call that parrot guidance. You know, when we constantly see the signs over and over again, when we're shown the way, things happen for a reason constantly. Huge things flowing in. You are loved and safe. So today, take that cape, that magnificent cloak with power and pride and wear it knowing how powerful you are. And if ever you need confidence, visualize putting that cloak on. It's your armor from heaven to get through this day. And you'll get through this day with love and light and power and strength and knowledge and wisdom and the understanding of who you are and why you've come. And whenever you're going through a struggle, say, this too shall pass. I am a warrior and I can handle this. And Archangel Michael is with me, helping me to move forward and carry on. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.